It was in Argentina that Enrico Guzzini developed the art of working oxhorn. On his return to Italy in 1912, he started up his handmade production and transferred his know-how to his children. This was the origin of the Guzzini firm. The invention of plexiglass found the three brothers, Pierino, Mariano and Silvio, who had already been partners in the company since 1934, well prepared to extend their production. So the first plastic items arrived in the shops. After the war, there was a revival in Italian industry. Things had to be rebuilt, but they also had to be refurnished. The company sensed the need to give a new dignity to plastic. A formula was purchased and a small chemical plant was created. Two color acrylic slabs were obtained, enabling the launch of innovative products. Cars became widespread and the new department stores exploded with goods and people. The company made an agreement with the Rinascente store. The third generation of Guzzinis were very active, in particular Raimondo, who had a great commercial entrepreneurial spirit. He was convinced of the strategic importance of industrial design and summoned to the Marche region the best designers of the times. Design started to become a part of Guzzini's entrepreneurial culture. Si sentiva che non volevano restare quello che era. D'altra parte c'era tutto questo background che evidentemente gli dava la possibilità di credere che si potesse formare intorno a quello che era l'origine del loro lavoro qualcosa di eccezionale, qualcosa di particolare. C'era la voglia di fare. This desire to create triggered off great changes. All the young Guzzinis threw themselves into new entrepreneurial initiatives in those years. In the 1950s, Giovanni and Raimondo started up I Guzzini Lighting. It was to become one of the major lighting engineering companies in Europe. An intuitive idea from Virgilio Guzzini gave rise to Teuco. From that time on, new shapes and innovative materials have been a constant feature in the company's growth right up to the present day. Design is therefore a deep-rooted element in the entrepreneurial culture of the Guzzini group. Design is a system for riempire l'ambiente, per disegnare l'ambiente. One place, one culture, one time, one language. Using design, the design of food, but beginning with the design of the product. Design is making things that did not exist before. The design per me significa linguaggio. Since the mid-1950s, Fratelli Guzzini has moved on to injection molding and has become a modern industry expanding on the market with growing success. From the 1960s until today, it has constantly been innovating and developing all the injection techniques, becoming a world reference in the plastic molding sector. In the mid-1990s, Fratelli Guzzini started to combine acrylic with traditional materials, glass, steel and porcelain. This change is the cultural route that has enabled them to constantly renew their structure, to build an international role for the company, and to base its development on total innovations from technologies to processes and from projects to distribution. In-depth research into food culture led in 2002 to the launch of the Food Design Project. The aim of the research was to bring together the two worlds of designers and the great culture of food, to identify new pathways in the relationship between form and function, and to discover new rituals on themes of experiencing food. Guzzini items have traveled through the 20th century alongside all the lifestyle changes, with an eye focused on design and constantly maintaining the unmistakable Guzzini style. For more than 100 years, Fratelli Guzzini has had the seeds of innovation within it. It has anticipated changes and picked up on new styles, made its mark on domestic habits, and taken out into the world the proof of a way of life and a style that are wholly Italian, combining beauty and good workmanship.